Tequila. Jumsle. Det gick så bra. Perfekt. Sätter vi upp här. Everybody and welcome back. Coffee, always. Mm. That's nice. With my cup that I got from Buffy at my birthday. See mountains, reindeer, the beer there. Nice. What? Mm. This was really nice. Mm. And some snacks, some reindeer dried meat. Perfect. You should always have this in your handbag. Always. And my little knife. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So nice. So mm. don't speak with your mouth full. So it was a long time ago since we had a little bit of a chat and like most of you maybe have seen that I actually went to Tromsø in Norway, Arctic. Who could have known that? So I'm gonna explain a little bit like what happened, why I disappeared and everything around it. A little bit more will come later probably. Uh, so actually last year one of my friends, Peter, uh, that he's a guide already in Tromsø, he's the Northern Light Guide, and he came up with the idea just because I wanted to take the uh, school that we had here to be become a guide that I told you in the previous video, and he said that maybe you can come up here and you can try it out first and see if you like it. And I just, why not? That's perfect. So it was standing in the balance of choosing the school or actually just going and do it. 
so packed my bag went up there and that was wow what a journey it, that's the minimum what it was so now i'm actually sitting back in my forest in jämtland in we can say Åre kommun uh, but like an hour from Åre in the forest area and yeah so what happened with the Tromsø i went there and i was gonna become the northern light guide and also i got an opportunity to maybe i could work with the sami with the reindeer and i was a little bit unsure if i would get a place there but i did and that was just amazing and all the people that that i met was just so incredible i could never in my life imagine what will come over this winter many of you already know probably that i'm a little bit everywhere and you know i go my own way and it's not always easy to do that um, it comes many hard times and it's a lot of scary times as well when you have no idea what to expect or what's gonna happen or anything around it so of course it was a lot to take in but i would never ever take it away for sure uh, even if my life is very unsure and i go wherever i want to and it is many scary moments i actually think it's more scary to actually not take the jump and go uh, so i love to do this but it's not easy you know and it got it was so much new things that came in and i i haven't posted so much on social media especially not here on youtube and it's because i just needed to take this moment a little bit for myself and not get overwhelmed over it so i just wanted to focus and to just take in as much as possible where i was and not film so much i actually have filmed some parts but i haven't posted i haven't worked so much with the social media a little bit on the instagram but for sure a lot is still coming so now when i'm here back in sweden i'm thinking that i'm just gonna continuing to post everything that happened this winter so don't get confused i'm back in sweden but you will see a lot of pictures and videos from tromsø when i came to tromsø i started to be like an assistant uh, for the northern light guides so we had the, these big buses that we went on and i as an assistant i was counting the people make sure everybody was on board helping the guide out then when we arrived to the place that we were gonna go to you know i just helped with the the people that had some questions we actually served some hot chocolate, coffee and cookies, so that was my job. So I could actually just stand and talk to the guests, ask where they were from. There were so many people from like all over the world and so much amazing people that you met on these trips. There's people from China, India, Germany, Mexico, New York. You, America generally, Austria, Spain, Dubai, uh, Italy, so big you, um, group mix of people and it was so much fun. And to hear everybody's stories and that, you know, we that live in the north or in the Scandinavia, for us it's so easy to take it Mm, uh, like the normal day like uh, it's easy for us to 
become a little bit of blind where we actually live and to hear all the people's stories of what their experience was to be there and what uh, you know many times people could come and like how do you survive up here and you know but for us it's like it's just normal you know and that's how it is if i go to spain or whatever i'm gonna be the same but it's so you get a glimpse again like how beautiful nature and the place we actually do have up here and it was fantastic to be a part of their memory so for all the people that was on tour with just a northern light guide you know we had 60 let's say 60 people on board every night uh, on your bus and then we sometimes we were three buses think of all the people that you actually met it's just incredible and to be a part of when they go out from the bus and the northern light is exploding on the sky and they start to scream and pictures and you know it's and you're always going to be a part of that, you know, when they went to the Arctic Norway and we're going to see the Northern Lights and, you know, to, to just be a part of that is just incredible. On the daytime, I was working with Tumse Arctic Reindeer. So they had some reindeer that the people can come and you give them some food, they can try to pet the reindeer, get the experience. Storm, fantastic company. You could actually go with them and have a tour, and uh, it's a good company. People came, fed the reindeer, so I was helping with that. Where I was working inside the gamme, where we served some food, drinks, and we also had the snowshoeing. So some some people, if you're following me on the Instagram you could see that some days I was actually with people to do some snowshoeing and it was like it was so fantastic to do to be able to work with that and you're standing in that environment and you actually get paid to do that it's so unreal because for me I just lived life but that was my work and again, you know, meeting all the hundreds of people that came every day and, you know, hearing their story and I don't think I have a good word to actually explain how really nice that that, that is and how much it also changed me to you know get so much energy and happiness and confidence and you know it gives so much in so many ways i'm nagging about that but that's a fact i have to take some more reindeer reindeer i always wanted to say reindeers when i was working so hey, let's go and meet the reindeers. But yeah, I soon got to learn that that's not how you say it. It's reindeer, even if it's a thousand ones, but I don't know. Reindeers just sounds much better somehow. Mm. I bought this in the local shop that we have that sells reindeer meat and this reindeer skin that I'm sitting on mm, so fantastic so nice of this mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay. So. And after a while we like. And that's also a thing why I didn't film so much. Because I can very easily get very um, hard on myself. Especially when I'm uh, learning something new and if I'm learning a new job and stuff like that. Uh, so it took me pretty long time to get used to working, you know, as the guide. Especially with the Northern Light because I just wanted to know everything before I became the guide. And but when I... Finally, my boss actually called me one night and was like, Hey, Becca, you can't do that now. And I just said yes before I even think about it. And afterwards, I was like, Oh no, what have I said now? Like, oh, I'm, tomorrow I'm going to be the guy. Like, I'm, you know, my head started to spinning around. I got so nervous and oh, wow. But as everything else, when it gets scary, you just have to do it. If you don't do it, it will not get easier. So I just continue to shut my mouth and accept that I just said yes to it. And when the day came, wow, if I were nervous, I was going to have all the plus you know, you are the photographer, you have to take the portrait photos of them, you have to make their experience, you know, good. You, you have so much, think that they are there maybe one time in their life, and you have to give them the best nights, you know. But yeah, I did that. And now I have done that, and it's just fantastic. Of course, it's scary my god <laughs> but yeah good job <laughs> and uh, so yeah then i became the northern light guide and uh, that was an experience and if that if nothing you know gave me a lot of um, experience and motivation and uh, you know um confidence Poof. like I don't think if I would have stayed in like for example here I don't know why this, I have so much if I would not if I would have said no to go there I have I, I would have missed not this much I would miss this much and the personal growth and everything around it, all the fantastic people, all my new friends. It's just one thing just led to another and to another and to another and to another. And that's why it also became not my priority to film because it was always something new coming up. And I just, and that was one thing that I did not go up there with my own car that was my biggest mistake because if i would have uh, my own car i would actually be able to go away if i was free one day and go to some forest and do this but i did not so i got a little bit stuck uh, the buses is not the best up there if anyone have been to Tromsø, tell me why and when and how your experience was i would love to hear about it the the place is just so beautiful you know the mountains just raise from the fjords and every time even if i had passed the mountain so many times i always like looked out to the window and like wow what is this place it's just so beautiful and i just said i want to go up there and there and there and there and as some of you know i cannot ski even if my brother tried to teach me that, it didn't work out so good. So, and the mountains there are very dangerous. It's, it, they have a lot of avalanches. So, 
with my clumsiness I was like mm, I should stick to the ground so I'm now I'm actually gonna go back there in the summertime and I'm gonna hike as much as possible you know we have the midnight midnight sun so the sun will be up all day so I'm gonna have a lot of time to run around there and I'm promise you I'm gonna bring you with me this time now I have done the first part so now it's just keep going and it's just gonna be fantastic and you will love it as well I hope after been working for a while then I started to meet Babang that you have seen on my Instagram he's a photographer a drone pilot uh, FPV drone pilot actually he is super good on that crazy I actually uh, got to try some goggles so I could see what he was filming I can put the link down below so you can go in and check that it felt so unreal I actually lost my balance when he took off because it felt so real when you had the goggles on you and it was so fun to finally see what he was filming but not in a video but like in real time he showed me so much with photography photographer photographer whatever and i'm stuck in that now as well so i have a lot of photos that's coming up i'm thinking to make one new instagram where I'm gonna put all my like pictures that I have actually took with a camera, proper camera, so I can split my Instagram with with that, so you can see that. And I went really down in the rabbit hole. Like now, I just can't stop. Even if I'm editing something, I have my I'm sitting with my laptop and editing the photos, and then I have my phone on the side. And I have uh, always something going on um, to learn something more with the photographer or Lightroom or yeah, everything around it. But even if I had an amazing time in the winter time in Tumsa, what I actually miss the most is this. I did not have any time or chance to actually go out in nature like this. They have some forest area, but I just did not have the opportunity to go there. And that made me realize so much. I already know it before, but it became so strong that the forest and the nature and you know my time spending alone in the forest or whatever means so 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 much so i actually even started to feel really really bad um, and you know the mental health and everything just you know started to go down and it actually really hurts that I was not in my nature. So that's why I have decided that I want to go back to Tumsa because I have a lot more to see. But I'm going to do all this also. So I'm starting more and more to see my path. Um, and I just want to, you know, do some, do just everything you know not holding back on anything so that's why i said i'm gonna go here now then there then here then there because that's what just makes me feel alive and happy and you know i'm not gonna take that away i'm always gonna be this nature and it feels so nice to finally you know be back in my garpitan clothes you know, gonna start working with my wood and 
in the nature, I'm gonna go on the hikes, I'm gonna start with the fires again, all my fires. Do you know how much I have missed my fires? Hmm, I don't think you understand how much I miss my fires. I'm gonna do a lot of those. And soon I'm gonna go and get a little boy that I have missed the most on my trips. Maybe some of you know who he is, but stay tuned and you will see that also when I go and finally pick him up again. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now my plan is to be here in the springtime and then in the summertime I'm gonna go back to Tromsø, I'm gonna bring you with me and then in the autumn time I'm coming back because in my autumn time most of you know that that's my time for hiking so I'm gonna be out in the wilderness the whole autumn time gonna do a lot of adventures and then in the winter time I'm going back to Tromsø and I'm gonna do everything again but much better and I'm gonna be much more prepared that time and you're gonna see everything around it so I really hope that you're gonna like the videos that's coming and stay tuned so please now Press the like button and subscribe and everything that's around it. And I hope I see you soon and much more will come. And I'm gonna throw in a little bit of videos from Tromsø. So stay tuned. Bye!